Well, good morning, y'all. It's me, Marty. And I'm going on a hike. So, it is, what is it, <laughs> December 5th, 2020. It's about 22 degrees, blue sky, sunny, about 7 a.m., crisp, beautiful December morning. I'm going to call it fall still. I mean, it's technically not winter yet. I mean, we've had snow off and on in Minnesota and other places, but still technically fall. Um, anyway, sun's coming up behind me. Uh, so, I'm still trucking. I'm always trucking, ain't I? <laughs> anyway, uh, uh, I guess my breath here. So, yeah. I am trucking, I went out, uh, well this is Saturday, I went out Monday and I took a load from, actually from home, from Litchfield, a, a load of cheese out to Corfu, New York. Never been in New York. I actually seen New York City when I was in New Jersey, but I haven't actually been in the state of New York. Um, oh, I can still see the moon up here too. There is it, there it is, see the moon, there's the moon. There's the sun on my shoulder. <laughs> Sunshine on my shoulder. <laughs> anyway, um, yeah, so I took a little cheese out to New York. So that was a new state for me. Um, so yeah, I only have 10 states left that I haven't been to. Those far northeastern states, Oregon in the west, and then uh, Hawaii and Alaska. So actually, I can't truck drive to Hawaii. <laughs> and uh, so uh, so I have nine states that I haven't been to so far. So, yeah. Anyway, uh, yeah, I've been trucking. And anyway, and then I brought a load from, uh, oh, was it? where was I? Spring? Where was I? Silver... Silver Springs or Spring Valley or something like that. One of those springs. <laughs> Just kind of southeast of Corfu. I got a load of salt and uh, brought that to Woodville, Wisconsin. And then I came back to the cities and then I went down south to Fairbolt and I got a load of, I have a load of beans. It's canned veggies. But the whole load is beans. Like 43,000 pounds of beans. <laughs> Just beans. The whole thing is beans. 
baked beans, lima beans, kidney beans, chili beans, all kinds of beans. Anyway, I'm full of beans. That's something my mom used to say. You know, you, you have your parents' old sayings. That's one. My mom always used to say, oh, you're full of beans. You know, if you say something and you're telling a fib or you don't know what you're talking about, she'd say, oh, you're full of beans. <laughs> I'm full of beans. Sometimes I am full of beans. I crack the window because I'm like, you know, I mean, you know how beans go. Should I? Should, should I? Alright. I think I'm on. I think I'm on. Blah, 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 blah. I think I'm the only one on the trail, so why not? Beans, beans, a magical fruit. The more you teat. No. The more you teat. Beans, beans, a magical fruit. It's early. I've only had one cup of coffee. Beans, beans, the magical fruit. The more you eat, the more you toot. The more you toot, the better you feel. So let's eat beans for every meal. <laughs> well, maybe not for breakfast, but... I mean, I could have had some for breakfast. I do have some beans. No, I mean, in my cupboard in the truck, I have some beans. But beans for breakfast? My wife does that. She'll eat anything for breakfast. I could have breakfast things for breakfast. Actually, I didn't have any breakfast. I didn't have some oatmeal, but I wanted to get on the trail. So I'm going for a trail walk here, and then I'm going to roll south. I'm still trucking, so... Anyway, here I'm rambling again. I am the rambler on the trail. So, if you're new to my channel, my channel is a maj paj of truck driving and teaching and woodworking. Lots of woodworking. I like woodworking. Family stuff. Uh, just me being a goof. Um, yeah, just rambling. So I ramble a lot when I'm doing my videos. I just talk and talk and talk and ramble. Go on and off uh, all these different trails. <laughs> Speaking of trails... And I gave myself the, the trail name of Rambler. And I don't think you're really supposed to give yourself a trail name, so somebody will probably give me one eventually if I ever run into anybody on the trail. Um, but I ramble a lot of my videos when I talk. I ramble around the country because I'm a truck driver. And I ramble on trails because I don't like real long hikes, real long walks. Uh, my wife and I love to hike together and at home and up on the North Shore of Minnesota and even around our house. There's so many places, parks and state parks and county parks and places, lots of lakes and rivers in Minnesota. Oh, just wonderful. But we go on short hikes at the most two miles. A lot of times it's like less than a mile or half a mile. But we take our time. We have time together and just enjoy the outdoors. You know, we take pictures and make videos and we look for flowers and mushrooms and plants and trees and bugs and wildlife and spider webs and just look for beautiful things and just enjoy it. And I do that too. Um, so when I'm on the road, when I have time, when it's on my route, and today I have some downtime, you know, I go for a walk, I go for a hike, and they're usually really short. Um, and you've seen a lot of those videos and stuff, but I just like to share my life with y'all so that's what my channel is about anyway i'm a rambler I, I gotta get walking here anyway so i reloaded beans and i'm taking them down to san antonio texas and i don't deliver till monday morning so i have lots of time to get there and i stopped at this rest area it's the story city iowa rest area on i-35 exit 119 southbound and there just happens to be some trails here and i i knew there was i i just hadn't stopped here before it hadn't worked out, and I knew there's some trails here, so I stopped here last night. And it was too dark then, and I had college work to do anyway, so I thought, I'm going to get up and go for a hike, go for a walk in the woods. So here I am, <laughs> 10 minutes into the video, and I haven't walked really much yet. Anyway, um, I'm just going to enjoy this. I'm not going to talk a lot. I mean, I'm going to make a video to share it with y'all, but I want to enjoy it. Time with God, time in the outdoors. It's crisp and sunny and beautiful and I don't know what this trail is and it's actually so it's a story city rest area trail system it's the skunk river is down here and then there's a creek and stuff and so yeah I think it's gonna be neat and yeah it's you know a lot of it's brown and everything this time of year but it's still beautiful so I'm gonna enjoy this hike and I got my full pack on with everything I need in the world just because you know, for a while I was just carrying my little fanny pack or waste pack thing with a water bottle with the essentials. But my back actually hurts more. It, it's kind of funny, but my back feels great with a pack on it. And it just kind of helps me stand up straight. And then I have everything I need in there. And so I'm going to take my pack even on short hikes. 
This one might actually be a couple miles, so I'm excited. So I'm going to go here. I'm not going to talk much, but I'll just share it with you. So here we go. Get away from the highway noise of I-35. Back in the woods here. And there's a whole bunch of offshoots here. I'm not really sure, but this is the main part of the trail. That <laughs> something jumped. No, oh, it was just me. Is it pretty? I'm not sure what these are. I see a lot of them on trails and woods. Yeah, this last week was long and rough and actually ran into a snowstorm in Iowa, or not Iowa, Ohio, Pennsylvania, and New York. It's actually a snowstorm up there. And I was delayed and just been a long week. And I really needed some exercise, fresh air, and a nice hike. Praise the Lord, I'm getting one now. Thank you, Jesus, for this beautiful day. That's pretty. Yeah, I'm not sure what these are. But I've seen a lot of these trees, bushes before. <coughs> well, I think I try to stay on the main part of the trail and get down by the river. And I'll wind around. There's a few different offshoots. Oh. Some exercise. Ooh, there's a down tree. Hit by lightning or wind or something. Yeah, there's a whole bunch of offshoots
Hmm. <laughs> okay, we got some trees down here. We got a fence line here. But it looks like... <laughs> um, it looks like that was an opening in the fence. But the tree went down there. Hmm. <laughs> well, I'm guessing that <laughs> it looks like this went down right, right in between where the maybe walk. I'm guessing. <laughs> That's weird. Obviously, nobody's been through here in a while. Pretty woods. Like lots of big trees. A lot of them down in here. Gosh, I feel like I lost the trail here. Anything in there? Hello. This is supposed to go down to the river. I don't know, there's a tree down there. But you know me. I don't really find my own trail. Ah, wow, lots of trees behind. Pretty. Yeah, it's amazing. I started putting a pack together. Um, and I was like, oh, I don't know. I like hiking and stuff. But... I don't know if I'll be able to carry a pack, as I haven't always had the best back in the world. <clears throat> and I <laughs> changed my pack a few times. I guess I first started putting a pack together for bushcrafting, and then I decided I really just want to hike a lot, um, maybe even camp. So finally got my pack the way I want it, and I got this canvas leather pack. Kind of more of an old-fashioned type. I mean, I have my other day pack too, but this is a little bit bigger, and I like this. Seriously, it was thirty bucks. I got it for free because I had points on my pilot card at the truck stop. <laughs> and you really don't have to spend money for good stuff. I mean, yeah, sometimes you have to spend more for good quality, but you don't have to. Anyway, finally got my pack the way I want it, and it's everything I would need for survival, but also things I like to do. You know, I have my carving kit in there so I can stop and carve a spoon or something. And my cook kit if I want to make a cup of coffee or soup or something or hot chocolate on the road or on the trail. And uh, I think it's probably about 30 pounds. And uh, it feels great. It helps me stand up and it just feels good to carry. I don't know if I'm lost. <laughs> Jeez. I mean, the... The trail kind of stopped, and then the trees were down. 
I mean, it looks like this goes downhill here, but I feel like I'm off the trail. I better check. <laughs> okay, I went back out to go back out through this opening in the fence where the tree came down. Because according to my all trails, I went off the trail a little way back here. It should be a little right here, but I didn't see it. This is it. <laughs> this is fun. Well, I'm going to go back to where the first fork... Uh, so, basically, it's a big circle. I was going to go to the left, but since I'm not sure well at the trail there, since the trees are down there by that fence, I'm going to go back to the fork here and go the other direction, go around, and I'll come back that way. <laughs> Yeah, it's funny when you're on a trail and you come to a fork, then you come to another fork, and pretty soon you're three, four forks into the trail. Yeah, that's where I came from. I'll go this way this time. <laughs> you're three, four, five forks into a trail and looking for a spoon, and <laughs> ah, it's all part of the fun. Oh, what a gorgeous day. You know, this time of year, you gotta look, look a little harder for beauty. Yeah, things have died out for winter and stuff. A lot of brown, but there's still a lot of beauty. A lot of neat things to see, explore. Wow, there's a lot of down trees in here. And actually a lot of cut up trees too. We're just trying to clean up the trail a little bit. <coughs> Ooh. See a lot of spoons in there. <laughs> oh, I want to find some chaga. I found some, oh, I don't know, a few, a few trails ago. Now, See, here's the fence again, but there's an opening in it. So I'm on trail, but kind of weird. There's lots of down trees. Um, but yeah, if you uh, field trail walks ago, I uh, oh, I seen some chaga on a birch tree. But it was too high up to get. But I have my machete and saw, a knife and things. Ah. <clears throat> so if I see any. Thing is, a lot of times it's so high, you see a big chunk and it's way up there. Whew. Some good hiking. Going downhill here. I'm gonna watch the ruts. This little trail system they got here. And it is kind of fun to go off trail a little bit. You gotta be careful and know where you are. And you should stick to the trail pretty much. <coughs> I'm hoping in the spring. Hmm, pretty moss. Moss on a log. Isn't that pretty? And I've noticed sometimes I see the, these mushrooms or fungus on trees this time of year. It's kind of, I'm learning. I mean, I've hiked throughout my life in different times and stuff and camped, but I'm just starting to really get into hiking. Um, I'm learning things and and go in in different seasons. I want to hike in every season. 
And, uh, jeez, I almost lost it there. Okay, I'm learning each season has different things. And there is some, good night, there's a lot of trees now. Each season has, uh, Ooh, that's pretty. Um, good, night. <laughs> good thing I like a challenge. <sighs> good night. Um, yeah, you see different things in different seasons, and uh. I think I see the river or a creek or something. Um, good night. Uh, yeah, and there's some fungus or I mean, I don't know if it's a fungus or where's the trail here? <laughs> I think I lost it again. There's some fungus and mushrooms that grow. Let me see. Look at this. I don't know if that's bark or if that's some kind of mushroom growing there. But it's interesting and pretty. Anyone in there? Hello. Got my phone in there. Interesting. Okay. Well. Um, there's so many trees down. It's really easy to get out trail. I think this is tough. That's the river down there. Get to it. I'm gonna check my owl trails here again. See what I mean? There's still different mushrooms or fungus. I think that might be a horse hoof. I'm not sure. <laughs> Okay, anyway, they got off the trail again. It's kind of weird here. Huh? Good thing I have the all trails. I'm going by the all trails. And it says the trail goes through here. Because of all the down trees, I kind of have to go off trail to get back on trail. <sighs> oh, no. It's over there. <laughs> I think that's the trail down there. Now I gotta get in here. Clean up a ton of down trees. You really have to go off trail to get back on trail. Oh my goodness. 
This is a workout. Good. I wanted it. I need it. Okay. All right. <laughs> Look at these. Look at that. I'm guessing that's the main, main part of the trail. And I went on an offshoot. Well, according to all trails, it was part of the trail, but it's one of the offshoots of the main trail. But it's. I was off, off, off the trail because of all the trees. The down trees had to go around. Okay. <laughs> okay. <sighs> yeah, a little chilly. It's like 25 now. But, wow, isn't that pretty? Um, it's a big tree, big old trees in here. Gosh, that almost looks like chaga up there, but it's not a birch tree, so I think they might just be burls. I'm not sure. Huh. <sighs> <clears throat> Yeah, it's chilly, but it's actually a nice temperature for hiking. Um, no bugs. It's just really nice. So, I think, well, Skunk River is back in here somewhere. I don't think this is the river. I think this is Bear Creek. There's a creek and a river back in here. That's pretty. And not a lot of running water. You know, in the fall, you know, creeks kind of dry up. And <sighs> but... Oh, I needed this. Thank you, Jesus. It's going to be a couple miles at least, not more. Especially if I get lost, keep getting lost if <laughs> I get back. Still here. <laughs> Traffic. Oh my gosh. Interesting. Not sure what that was. And I don't know if he was dead or sleeping. He looked, he looked cozy, so. Huh. That was interesting. <laughs> uh, yeah. You know, I don't have to make videos when I go on these hikes. I mean, I like to just, and I don't, I, I honestly, I'm not, I'm not videotaping everything. I just want to make sure he's not following me. I don't videotape everything, but I do like to videotape a little bit anyway when I go on the hikes because it's just kind of like, I mean, I know I'm making the video and nobody's with me. I'm alone out here. Well, God's with me, but, um, but when I'm making it, I, I'm talking to you like you are with me because you will be watching it and it will be live for you well not live but it'll seem live I don't know what that was I don't think this bear and 
Iowa, and it was really small. I don't know. Was it a raccoon, maybe? And I don't know if it was dead or alive. He looked cozy. He might have been just sleeping or hibernating. That was interesting. Ooh, it's pretty. Oh, that moss. Need to see some bright colors. Oop, sorry I tooted there. hilly ruddy trail and I like it a wide flat groom trail is kind of boring Okay, so this is the Skunk River right here. The Bear Creek is somewhere. It, it, it runs out of Skunk River, but that's actually the river. I've went a couple miles already. It's wonderful. I can still hear the traffic, but you can hear trucks from a long ways away. That's okay. Yeah, here the river's a little bigger. Skunk River. Pretty. Yeah, it comes right down to the river here. Oh, I bet this is gorgeous in the fall, too, in summer. Might be buggy in the summer, but uh, that's just kind of neat. You're on the same trail, different times of the year. Yeah, I don't know what that animal was. The way he's laying, I'm guessing he was alive and hibernating, maybe. He's close to the water, and maybe that's what they do. Skunk River. Oh, this is a wonderful hike. You know, so many of my hikes are five, ten minutes long. It's nice to get a longer one. 
I want to start doing some like five mile hikes. I, I don't, I, I really enjoy watching through hikers, you know, on the AT and the PCT and the CDT, especially AT, especially the Appalachian Trail. I just like the Appalachian Trail. But I love watching those. But kind of like I love watching woodworking videos of big projects. <laughs> I like watching big things like that. But I don't think I want to do them, honestly. See, here's that mushroom or fungus stuff I'm seeing still this time of year. I'm the only one out here. Um, except you guys are with me. <laughs> um, ooh, that's interesting. So many down trees in the woods and along the river. <sighs> Party. Yeah, I encourage you. Oh, this take time. Enjoy life. Get out and enjoy the outdoors if you can. But enjoy what you like to enjoy. I mean, I'm working. I'm working a lot. I'm trucking a lot. But I just take time when I can. I mean, the last, what, six, seven days, I haven't had time to do anything but drive and truck and work. But now I have a little downtime. I can take my time getting down to Texas. I have more than enough time. So... I can get a little hike in. What a blessing. So yeah, I encourage you to do that. <sighs> you gotta love these forks. I better check out all trails again. I'm going this way. <laughs> I think this goes along the river more. And then I'll backtrack on the same trail and go the other way which winds back to the rest area it actually goes back to where I tried to go where I was a little lost <laughs> that was a wonderful hike I need it Selfie stick, kind of hold it way out there. <laughs> yeah, I get rid of the belly. Part of the reason I'm hiking. <laughs> Need to lose about 50 pounds. Oh, that's gorgeous. And I know, you know, so many people don't take the time. Ugh, even this, look at this. It's different colors in the wood. The log. Pretty. But yeah, you think, oh, it's cold now. I ain't going outside. I ain't going anywhere now. Why not? It's beautiful. You know, you gotta prepare and have things that you need. just warmer when it's colder, you know, and all that stuff. I mean, but you can still enjoy it. Yeah, this would probably be flowing. <clears throat> but I think it's kind of low, so it freezes pretty quick. Uh, it's supposed to be 45.50 today <laughs> here, and I'm going south. So. Probably be in Oklahoma or northern Texas tonight. Get to San Antonio tomorrow afternoon, evening. I don't unload till Monday morning. So who knows? Maybe I'll get another hike in. But even if this is the only one all week, the whole trip, nice. It's a blessing. But actually, 
I really want to try to start at least going for a walk every day. Yeah. Not sure what that is. <laughs> um but yeah. Even if I can't hike, I'd rather hike than walk. I just like hiking. It's interesting, it's fun, it's more of a challenge than just walking. Um But even if I can't get a hike in every day, um try to be committed. Going for a walk every day, even if it's just around the truck stop. Find a place. You know, for a little adventure. We need to exercise. Well, that was neat, seeing one animal. <laughs> uh, I'm really thinking he was sleeping. By the way, he was laying by the river. I don't know for sure, but if any of you know what that was, I don't know. I'm guessing a raccoon or something like that. I don't think it was a possum. I don't think it was a little bear. I mean, I'm just north of Des Moines. I don't know if there's bears in Iowa. He was pretty little. Size of a small dog. Anyway, yeah, if anybody know anybody knows what that might have been, let me know. See, it's just pretty. You know, just some frost on some leaves, and that's the thing I just seek out things you know there's not a ton of color so I seek out color this time of year and just like in life like it's just encourage you all to focus on the good life is hard a lot of trials and challenges tragedies just hard things in life right now, some big things, and then just everyday things. But just, uh, you know, do what you can to help. Pray about everything, but focus on the good and find joy in every day and help others to do the same. You know, I like loop trails where you don't have to backtrack and go up somewhere, but that's okay. As I'll backtrack on the same one and then go on the other end to head back. Sun's still coming up over there. Yeah, there's I'm surprised. I kind of thought this would just be a, a flat trail. I really didn't know what to expect. Lots of hills in here. I mean, this is a neat little area here. It's just a uh, beautiful place to put in a rest area, that's for sure. Watch and make sure that critter isn't following me. <laughs> and I think 
This ends up at a park down here. I'm not sure, but looking on the map, it kind of ends at a park down here where you can um, you can actually access from the town. I think it's a park area, I think. I might stop and have a snack and drink some water. Right. Head back. Okay. Um, not sure, but I think this might be where Bear Creek flows through to the river. Obviously dried up, but... Oh, so nice to get a longer hiking. Oh, this just feels great. I'm tired, but I feel great. Fresh air. Oh, it's a perfect temperature. <laughs> That's like 20, 25, but it's warming up. So the sun's rising. But it feels great. I'm not cold at all. I mean, I got winter boots on just because I didn't know if it would be muddy. I got flannel jeans on and a couple of shirts, but gosh, I'm really comfortable. It feels good. This is the kind of exercise I like. I don't like just exercising for exercise. I mean, I, you know, not, not when I, I don't want to stand on an exercise machine in my living room. Not when I can go for a walk. I mean, those are nice when you can't. Middle of winter and a blizzard. You know, it's nice to have those at home, too. But... If I can, I'd rather go for a walk. <laughs> yeah, you can see my breath, but it feels great. It really doesn't feel cold at all. Ooh. Yeah, there's a bridge down here. That must be where the park is. That's some pretty big poop. I don't know what's out here. Ooh! Talking about mushrooms and fungus. Look at that. Wow. 
big one. And another one up there. That's pretty cool, huh? Yeah, uh, see a lot of those on um, dead trees. This is really a neat trail. Um. Uh. <laughs> That looks fresh. <laughs> there it is. <coughs> go get my bear bells ringing. <laughs> I don't think there'd be bear out here. I don't know. Something. Fresh. Uh, so I think this comes out by that park, and it looks like there's a sign, a couple signs up here. I'm guessing telling about this trail. Now, I took it from the rest area. Oh yeah, it's actually a road up here. Huh. Interesting. Okay, this is a hunting area. I'm definitely not dressed in hunting, but huh. Huh, all right. Skunk River Fauna, this is Soper's Mill North. Skunk River Greenbelt Trails. Numerous species species of animals and plants make their home in along the Skunk River. White-tailed deer, raccoons, opossums, mink, beaver, otters, and our common mammalini mam mammali mammal mammal help me mammalian <laughs> visitors. Common bird species include the great blue heron. Belted kingfisher, great horn owl, turkey vultures, wood ducks, snappy turtles, leopard frogs, and occasional garter snake. Or fox snake can be found in the river corridor. I know a mink. That wasn't a mink. Down that might have been a beaver. Maybe? I don't know. Okay. Shows I'm in there somewhere. <laughs> so this is actually well it's it's called the Story City uh rest area, but it's actually between between Story City and Ames, actually closer to Ames. But, huh. I'm gonna walk out here a second. Hitch a ride here back to the rest area. <laughs> no, that'd be cheating. Uh, walk back. 
170th Street. There's a bridge over the river there. Uh, pretty. Like those old bridges. Huh. Well, uh, I'm back. I'm gonna have a little snack and then mosey on back. I'm about a mile, mile and a quarter walk back. <laughs> I don't know what those are. Probably a big dog. I'm gonna say it's a big dog. <laughs> I was about to head back down the trail and I heard some running water. And I love running water. Isn't that pretty? Kunk River. <sighs> what those are, there's some big paw prints all over the place. Well, I'm gonna head back down the trail. You know, it looks like whatever that is is going the same direction. <laughs> oh, I'm on my way back to the rest area, and in a little ways here. I'll take a right and that should bring me back to the rest area where I started where I couldn't go through because of the down trees so hopefully I can get back through there well I'll get back either way but <laughs> go off trail and get back have to but <clears throat> I don't know if I should really be looking for things, hibernating or not, but it's interesting. Keep jingling my bear bells. I didn't think there was bear in uh, Iowa, but those tracks <laughs> could be a big dog. Timber wolf? I don't know if they're out here either. The big pop print that was pretty fresh, and there's a poop, pretty fresh too. So. 
I don't know. All I know is this is a wonderful hike this morning. I needed it. Saturday morning hike. I think it's going to be around three miles. That's not really long, but it is for me. And really enjoyable. Still on the river here. <clears throat> jingle <and> bells. <laughs> eh, jingle bells and <sighs> make noise. And it keeps the animals away for the most part. You don't gotta encounter them. Well, it would be neat to see at the same time. I just don't wanna encounter. <laughs> Okay, so that's where I came from, and supposedly this is the other branch of it that winds back to where that fence was, where the tree came down. It should come out there somewhere. <clears throat> Lots of hills, down trees in here. Really a neat trail. <laughs> puffing and puffing. Some pretty steep hills in here. Oh, it's so good for me. There's so many, so many down trees. A challenge. But it's fun. Holy cow. A little gully down in there. Wow. I wonder when you see trees like this. Really. They don't have any bark. It's kind of just stripped. Kind of different. Um. Good night. Oh, let's see here. The trail go down there and up? Or does it go along through here? It's hard to tell with all the trees down. <laughs> okay. Well. <laughs> this is definitely a good hike and it's fun. But I'm off trail now. I'm in between two of them. Um, I should come out to where I started, but the, the Bear Creek's down there. It's all dried up, but I had to come across it and up the hill. The trail's actually over there, but I couldn't 
huge down tree, so I couldn't get past it. So I had to cross the creek and up a hill. And I'm basically, yeah, I just stopped trail now. But I'm going towards the other trail. I should come up to it pretty soon here. Oh, what a beautiful day. I mean, I could... I think if I keep going straight to the woods here, I'll come out to the other side of the trail. And I could go down here, cross the creek and up the hill, back on the trail. But... It might, might be easier to just keep going straight here. And hook up with the other end of the trail. It's not marked real well. There's so many down down trees, and there's a bunch of offshoots. But I mean, it's nice. I don't have to worry about bugs. And I think most things are hibernating. Just see a big rabbit <laughs> across my trail. My path scared me. There's the trail's over there. Actually, I see the trail. Um, oh, actually, I think I can. The creek and it stops here. I can cross over. Ah. <laughs> I do like an adventure. That branch. It's only fun to lose an eye. <laughs> um, uh, yeah, I'm gonna check all the trails again. I think I'm pretty close to getting back in the trail. Yeah. Ugh, I was tripped. <laughs> okay, I found the trail again. <laughs> I just took the long way around. Okay, this will come back out. Oh my. I think I take a right down here. And then another right. And then another right. And then another right. Oh wait, no, that's a circle. A right, and another right. And I should be back. The rest there. Oh. Oh, I needed this. Thank you, Lord. This is fun. Good luck. So pretty, and it's kind of neat when you're on a trail. And there's all different parts of the trail. You know, it's all kind of closed in here. And it was by the river for a while. And a bunch of hills for a while. And there's a bunch of loops on here that I didn't do, also. So, out and back, it's going to be around three miles. I'm guessing it could be like four or more. I wanted to do the other offshoots. There's so many down trees, though. And 
down trees, branches, leaves. It's really hard to know when you're on sale. I think I'm still on sale. Looks strangely familiar. Okay. Now, back where I came through, where this tree came through the fence. Okay. And that way back well I think I'm going to end the video unless something exciting happens on the way back <laughs> thanks so much for joining me on this hike it's been a wonderful one every hike can be fun Whew. a couple hours about three miles I needed it oh thank you lord anyway yeah, thanks so much for watching. You know, I have a whole playlist of hiking videos. <laughs> it's getting to be a big list. And woodworking and all kinds of stuff. So, yeah, watch them. Check them out. I hope you're encouraged or inspired, or at least you can smile by my videos. <sighs> I'm going to keep walking here. I think I have half a mile, three quarter of a mile or so. Thanks so much for watching. Have a wonderful day.